you set up your drone, you're ready to start flying, you made sure everything's right, the propellers are on the right way, everything's wired up right, and then for some reason, the drone just flips out when you turn it on. We're gonna go into motor remapping because that's one of the things that could happen that causes this to happen. I'll show you how to figure out if this is your issue and how to fix it. Betaflight uh, 4.3 has made things so much easier. I was gonna make a video on how to do motor remapping with CLI and it's, it's pretty challenging and takes a while and this just makes it so easy for you. So let's first see if this is the problem and then let's see, show you how we can fix it. So we're gonna go into Betaflight and we're going to connect our drone. And now what I'm doing right now is really bad. You should never do this with propellers on, okay? Never do this with propellers on. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? I'm an idiot. And I'll admit to it so you don't have to tell me in the comments, okay? So we're plugging in our... Oh yeah, oh yes. Do you wanna know how your drone can sound like Top Gun? Sorry, I'm not gonna tell you, just for me. <laughs> But I just, when flying drones, I think about Top Gun. I love Top Gun because it's just the, the spins, the flips, the turning and stuff. So what I think about FPV is it's very much like Top Gun. So now you're gonna look at your motors tab. You're here at the motors tab, your thing's plugged in. You make sure that your motor direction is reversed or not reversed, depending on which way your things are spinning. And then you gotta go, I understand the risks. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see over here that one is supposed to spin. So when you spin one, this is the one that should spin, okay? Now watch what happens when I move propeller one. <sighs> That's not the right one. That one shouldn't be spinning, right? Now let's see, when I move number two, it should be this one. Oh, that's totally wrong. No wonder our quad is flipping out. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to go back. We're going to say, I understand the risk. Turn that off. We're going to reorder motors. Okay. They're all spinning in the right direction, but we need to reorder them. And you say, I understand the risks. And then you start and it just says, okay, so one of them is going to spin and you're going to click on the circle for the one that's spinning. So I'm going to look at it like this now and do it. So this one's spinning. Uh, this one's spinning, this one's spinning, this one's spinning, and save. Very good. So now it should it should be fine. I'm gonna just check and make sure because one of these one of these seemed like it was twitching a little. Let's check out number two. Oh, number two's fine. Number one. Oh. Woo. Woo! Okay, we're good. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we solve the problem. Oh, I should have clicked disconnect. I didn't do that on purpose, I promise. I'm just, like I said, I, I'm missing a few, okay? <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't fly inside the house either. Don't do that. Just don't do anything I tell you to do unless it's something good. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Hopefully that helps you solve all your problems. If it did, you smash that like button. Be sure to be subscribed because why not? I'm your friend. I'll help you as quick as possible. I believe in not wasting any of your time like some of those other people that will talk to you for 20 minutes for a problem that can be solved in one. We're going to fix it fast and have a good time. And yeah, then I'll post some videos that no one watches when I fly, but I'll also try to help you. Thank you.